How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy123 here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Chrome OS Flex on almost any computer. Chrome OS Flex is a version of Google's Chrome OS which is the operating system that runs on Chromebooks but it can be installed on almost any computer whether that's a desktop, laptop, or even a MacBook. Installing Chrome OS Flex is a great way to revive old hardware. In the description below, I'm going to provide a link to a list provided by Google with all of these certified devices that are known to work with Chrome OS Flex. But even if your device is not on the list, it doesn't mean that Chrome OS Flex will not run on your device. And I still recommend giving it a try as Chrome OS Flex is free. And you can even test the operating system running off of a USB flash drive without actually installing it to your computer. In this video, I'm going to be installing Chrome OS Flex on a custom built PC. This PC has an Intel i7-4790K CPU, a 240GB SSD, and 16GB of DDR3 RAM. The only modification I made to this computer was I removed the dedicated graphics card, which was an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. This was because during my testing, I noticed Chrome OS Flex would just hang on the boot screen when you had a dedicated graphics card installed. So currently this computer is running off of the integrated graphics on the CPU. Let's begin by creating our Chrome OS Flex bootable USB. First off, open up Google Chrome and you'll need to install the Chromebook Recovery Utility extension. I'll leave a link to add this extension from the Chrome Web Store in the description below. This extension is usually used to create recovery media for Chromebooks when they don't boot or have a corrupted OS but this tool can also be used to create a Chrome OS Flex bootable USB as well. So once you're on the download page for the extension, simply click add to Chrome. Then you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to add the Chrome recovery utility extension. Click add extension. Then you'll see a notification that the recovery utility has successfully been added to Chrome. Now it's time to plug the flash drive you want to make your Chrome OS Flex bootable USB with into your computer. You can use any flash drive as long as it's at least 8GB in size. Also keep in mind that the Chromebook recovery utility will erase the flash drive when creating your bootable USB, so make sure to back up any important files on it before continuing. Once your flash drive is plugged into your computer, head back into Chrome and click on the puzzle piece icon to view a list of all your browser extensions. Then click on the Chromebook recovery utility to open it. When the recovery utility opens, click on get started. It will then ask you to identify your Chromebook, click select the model from a list, and choose Google Chrome OS Flex as a manufacturer in the first dropdown, and Chrome OS Flex as a product in the second dropdown. Next click continue, and then you'll be asked which flash drive you want to use for your bootable USB. The recovery utility only has one option in my case, which is my Kingston 64GB USB flash drive, which is the flash drive I want to use, and I'm going to select it. Once you've chosen your USB flash drive, click continue. Then click on create now in order to create your Chrome OS Flex bootable USB. The recovery utility is now downloading Chrome OS Flex and creating our bootable USB. During this process, you'll be asked to allow Google Chrome to make changes to your device, Make sure to click yes, otherwise the recovery utility will fail. The process of creating your bootable USB can take upwards of 10 minutes. Once the Chrome OS Flex installer USB has been created, click done on the recovery utility to close out of it. Now plug the USB into the computer you want to install Chrome OS Flex on. Now turn on your PC, and before it boots into any OS, press the keyboard key that will bring up the boot menu on your computer. On my computer, the boot menu key is F8, but the key can vary between different brands of devices. Once in the boot menu, use the arrow keys to select the USB with the Chrome OS Flex installer on it, and press enter to boot into it. I have noticed during my testing that the Chrome OS Flex installer may sit at a black screen for upwards of a minute, so be patient, it's just taking a little time to boot, but afterwards you should see the Chrome OS Flex logo and be brought to the welcome screen. At the welcome screen, click on get started. Next, you'll be presented with two options, installing Chrome OS Flex on your computer or trying it out directly off of the USB without installing it and erasing any existing data or operating system off of your PC. I recommend trying out Chrome OS Flex before installing it just to ensure that it runs smoothly on your computer without any issues 
and to see if the OS suits your needs before installing it onto your drive and wiping your computer. Anyways, for this example, I am going to install Chrome OS Flex on my computer. So I'm just going to check install Chrome OS Flex, then click next. You'll then get a final warning that Chrome OS Flex will install onto your computer and it will wipe your computer's storage device. So make sure that you have any important files on your computer backed up before continuing as they will be lost when you install the OS. Once you're ready to install, click the install Chrome OS Flex button and then click on install once again. Chrome OS Flex will now begin to install onto your computer. The install process can take upwards of 20 minutes. The install for Chrome OS Flex is now completed. Go ahead and remove the install USB from your computer, and the installer will automatically restart your computer after a minute. Once your computer restarts, you'll be brought to the Chrome OS Flex setup, click get started, and afterwards you'll be asked to connect to Wi-Fi. Once you've connected to Wi-Fi, you can choose whether you want to set up your Chromebook for personal use or for a child. In this case, I'll set up the Chromebook for personal use. Next, you'll be asked to sign into your Google account. After you've signed into your Google account, you can choose if you want to send diagnostic data back to Google. And after that, you'll be asked if you want to sync passwords, bookmarks, history, etc. from Chrome, along with apps and settings from other Chromebooks linked to your Google account. You can choose if you want to review what specifically gets synced over after the setup, but if you choose to not review what gets synced, everything will get moved over automatically. Moving on, you'll be given the option to send hardware data to help Google better determine what hardware is compatible with Chrome OS Flex. After that, we can configure Google Assistant. First, you can agree to enable screen context to have Google Assistant give you tailored responses based on what is on your screen. Additionally, you can choose if you want to access Google Assistant by saying, Hey Google. When you agree to enable Hey Google, the setup will ask you to teach the Assistant to recognize your voice, but since I don't have a mic connected to this computer, I'm just going to click skip. Finally, you'll be asked to choose a light or dark theme for Chrome OS. Once you've chosen a theme, click next, and we've completed the setup for Chrome OS Flex. Click get started and you'll be brought to the desktop. Now that we've successfully installed Chrome OS Flex, we can use it with a variety of different web apps. Like usual, we can use Google Chrome to browse the internet, and we can also use G Suite apps like Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. You can add many web apps to Chrome, like Photopea for example, which is a great browser-based photo editing software that functions very similar to Photoshop. One of the biggest downsides to Chrome OS Flex is that it does not support the Google Play Store and installing Android apps like regular Chrome OS. It is possible to install a Linux development environment under Chrome OS Flex that will allow you to install Linux programs if web apps do not meet your needs. Chrome OS Flex is very fast, and on my computer, it will boot in under 12 seconds. Chrome OS Flex is an excellent option for breathing new life into an older computer that doesn't support Windows 11 and will be affected by Windows 10's end of life in 2025. By installing Chrome OS Flex, you can transform an aging computer into a valuable device for a child or grandparent. Its user-friendly interface makes it incredibly easy to use, and it's secure and not susceptible to viruses and malware. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. If it helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.